Hey there folks, today I am bringing you an Oris UU battle. I'm really excited about it because it's a battle against a YouTuber who actually has an active channel. I do not remember the last time I had a battle against an active YouTuber. Anyway, his name is Lauderdude13. There's a link to his channel in the description and in the annotations. I highly, highly urge you to check out his channel. He does some really good stuff. So, um, on my side, I am using a UU team that I built right after uh, Mammoth Swine dropped to UU. It's been like three months. I just haven't had a chance to use it yet. Um, I'm not completely satisfied with how it's been doing on Showdown, so you probably won't see this particular team build again. Um, but I really wanted to play around with Mega Beedrill because I was like, oh, it looks so cool, and I got the perfect nickname for it. So yeah, um, Mega Beedrill uh, this is the core of this team. Um, I lead off with a Rotom Cut, Mo Rotom Mo. Uh, not the same build that I uh, have used on my previous RU teams. This is a defensive build. It's not the Scarf set. So um, go ahead and burn his ride on. I don't care what it's going to do. Um, I think it sets up rocks. I don't care. I have a, I have a defogger. Um, yeah, so here I was expecting him to switch out because why would you stay in on a Leaf Storm, especially when you have Buffalon, who uh, has Sap Sipper. But he didn't switch out, and I'm like, Arr. okay, so... I'll just go for the Leaf Storm here. If he if he predicts that, then it would have been an awesome play for him. And um, but he didn't, so I, he just decided to sack his uh, ride on, and that's fine. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm at minus two attack now, so he he's very 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 safe sending out his camera up. And I look over my team and I realize, oh, I don't actually have anything for this camera up. That's not particularly. Good. I guess actually. Um, if I sack someone, then I can send out Mammoth Swine, but I'm like, ah, oh, I gotta sack someone. So I go ahead and send out my Dragalgy. If he went for the Earth Power predicting the switch, it would just be really, really bad. I also do the Couch and see that Draco Meteor will not one hit KO the standard um, camera up build. He goes for the uh, Flamethrower, does not predict my switch out. That's good. Um, I go for the Draco Meteor. Yeah, he really should have gone for uh, Earth Power predicting uh, Chandelure. Well, I don't know why he would. Chandelure, that would, well, because, yeah, I, I would have been predicting her up and whatever. The point is, I go for Draco Meteor, and somehow I managed to KO, so go Dulamon. Uh, that's, that was a pleasant surprise. Now I'm just going to be Buffalant, and I'm going to go ahead and switch out, and I'm going to go into my, um, Rotom, uh, Mo, you know, not sure what he's going to do, but this is a defensive Mon. I, he goes for Earthquake, and so that's great. So now I see, is this the standard band, or is this the standard band set? Is he locked in? If he's locked in, then he'll probably switch out here. And indeed, he does switch out, so I'm like, ah, well, I'm almost certainly Banded or Scarfed. I guess he could be Scarfed. I, I would bet on Band over Scarf. Anyway, Ursa Ring is now out. I go for the Will-O-Wisp, and I'm like, oh yeah, you've got it's a Guts, uh, Quick Feet. I think maybe it could be Guts or Quick Feet. I think usually they run Quick Feet, and I'm like, eh, this is not good. Um, now you've got boosted speed, or you've got incredibly boosted attack. So, he goes for Facade. That's going to hurt. That's really, really going to hurt. Tachikoma is down. Yeah, that did not go well. <laughs> so, um, if it's Quick Feet, then that means he's going to outrun a lot of things. I go out now into... Um, I go out now into my Defogger, my Empoleon. He goes for Close Combat. I'm hoping I can take that. And I actually take that rather well, so he's probably Quick Feet, not... Um, not guts. So yeah, I take that hit rather well. I was I go for a defog. I kind of wasn't expecting him to survive the first hit. Whatever. It's good that the rocks are gone. And I'm wondering if I can take another hit um, because after leftovers I've got over half. And you know I took rocks damage going in. So uh, and he if he hits me with another close combat he'll be at minus two defenses. So I should probably be able to KO. But you know what? I don't want to risk it. I'm going to go out into Ikea, which is my Chandelure. It is a choice Scarf Chandelure, so I should be able to outspeed even with the um, <coughs> boost to his speed. I go for the Energy Ball. Again, really risky move if he'd send out his um, Bufalon, but I was really expecting... Um, who was I expecting to come out? I was expecting Suicune to come out, and uh, Bufalon is out now. Going to have to switch. Um, and, you know, depending on what he predicts me to do, it's going to potentially go really poorly for me. I go, and he goes for the Mega Horn, so can't say I was predicting the Mega Horn, but it worked out really well for me. That did all, so much damage, he has to be banded. There's no question. I think I can take one more, though, so hmm. he's going to go for the Mega Horn. He actually misses. That was lame. I go for the Rocks, so now I've got Rocks on my side. His uh, Hazard Center Upper is dead, So and he doesn't appear to have any Spinners or Defoggers on his team, so uh, this is going to be the um, 
entry hazard situation for the rest of the match. He goes now out into Suiku. Uh, here I'm going to make some plays that you could consider questionable, um, but I'll explain why I did them in a bit. So, first I go for the Skull, that's not the questionable part, um, that's fine, and uh, I get the burn. So, hacks is really in my favor, so hacks and, you know, predictions have really been in my favor. I can't really call them predictions, I mean, that's basically hacks that, you know, I would have switched in as he went for Megahorn. There was no reason to expect him to go for Megahorn. Um, but, so, things are working out pretty well for me in this match, even though I've, I've lost, um, I've, actually, I've lost one Pokemon, so, um, I'm not, like, super ahead of him. I guess he's lost three, and he's got a burn sweet So here he goes for the Combine, and why would I send out a Chandelure? Well, I didn't think he was going to go for the Scald against my Empoleon, because, you know, Empoleon is incredibly bulky, and also a Water-type, so it is the hit. So, now what do I, what am I expecting to do here? Um, am I going to go for the energy ball because energy ball is not going to kill it after especially after a calm mind no i'm going to go for the trick so basically i've taken a calm a, a plus one a special attacks plus one special defense uh suicune and i've given it a choice scar why would i do that why would i do that the answer is i really didn't want it setting up on me any further and so now he's locked into a move i was actually kind of hoping he would lock himself into calm mind but that would have been weird so now i go out of the Duelamon. I think Duelamon can take the hit. Um, he's going to go ahead and scald me. Um, and, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to go for the Sludge Wave, just in case he's decided to send out Slurpluff. He really could have sent out Slurpluff earlier. I, yeah, I was uh, lucky they didn't send out Slurpluff earlier. So, didn't actually KO, um, but with the burn, it got, it got him down in the range that the burn was going to KO. So, Duelamon is doing work that's now two KOs that I really didn't think it would get either, but whatever. So, Bufalon, I'm not sure if it's going to outspeed. Uh, Dragalge is extremely, extremely slow. Um, I'm going to go out into Linus T, essentially as Death Fodder. Um, I don't need it around anymore. He goes for Head Charge, so again, uh, another resisted hit. Uh, but it doesn't matter. That's going to do so much damage that Empoleon is finally going to bite the bullets. Or, um, bite the bullet? Um, bite it. Die. Whatever. I here go out into my Beedrill, and then I realize, oh crap, I cannot one-hit KO this guy. So, that means I'm going to have to sacrifice someone else. Um, so I go ahead and Mega Evolve. Um, and because I need this, I really need this thing for Slurpluff. Um, because I really want a one-hit KO Slurpluff. I mean, I guess, especially if it's a Belly Drum set. Yeah, if it's a Belly Drum set, he's going to just completely destroy me. So I go ahead and U-Turn out here. Um, it's not going to KO. Um, I do, the, my other move is Poison Jab. Um, that wouldn't have KO'd either unless he was running some really weird set. I go out into Dulamon. Um as Death Fodder, but this time it's actually going to die. Um, so Dulamon did amazing, amazing amounts of work in this battle. I am very happy with Dragalge. It performed better in this battle than it's ever performed ever before. And now I'm in such a good situation because my Beedrill is out. I'm going to go for the Poison Jab, and no matter what this Slurpluff is going to do, it's going to it's going to die. So he can't set up Belly Drum and activate on Burden, um, and my Poison Jab is 100% guaranteed to take this thing out. I'm I'm not there's there's no just no question. Uh, and even if he didn't, then all that would mean is that I would go out into my like if he survives just a teeny weeny bit of HP, I would go out, I would go out into my. Um, Maliswine and just Ice Shard it. But Maliswine doesn't actually get to see the light of day in this battle. So, anyway, that was the match. Lauder Dude 13. Uh, it was really an excellent battle. I hope that at some point you can get around to posting your side. I would love to see it. Folks, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and check his out channel out. Please do.